A rapid prototype starts as an STL file generated from a 3D CAD program. The model is oriented within the computer exactly as it will be built in the FDM machine. Orientation may affect build time, strength of features, and support material generation. Once the model is oriented, the software divides the model into evenly spaced planar sections, each measuring as small as a few thousandths of an inch. Supports are then generated for overhanging sections. Each layer consists exclusively of non-overlapping and non-intersecting curves. Tool paths are created in the regions, indicating whether the FDM machine should extrude model material or support material. Once the tool paths controlling the XY movements have been generated for all layers, a file is created and sent to the FDM machine. Inside the heated build envelope, the model material in filament form is heated to a less viscous state for extrusion. The model is built layer by layer from the bottom up. On each layer, the extrusion tips follow the tool paths calculated in the computer. After each layer is completed, the plate drops and a new layer is added. When the final layer is complete, the modeled part can be removed. After support material is removed, you are left with a strong, durable, and functional prototype. Oh,